She shrunk my clothes. Let's not panic, kiddo. It's really not that bad. Look at me. You can see every little curve. I know Mom shrunk him on purpose. Come on, she'd never do that. Oh, yes, she would. You just don't know her. I'm her father. Pops, I'm telling you, that woman's an evil genius. Dinner's ready. I made your favorite shrimp parm. Oh, you made my favorite? Well, it doesn't make up for this. My goodness. What happened to your cool clothes? You happened. You happened. They must have shrunk when I washed them. It was an accident. When it comes to you and the laundry, there are no accidents. I always wash new clothes. You don't know who tried them on before you. Could have been a drifter. What kind of drifter shops at the Willow Grove Mall? Well, what kind of drifter needs to buy new clothes when he already has perfectly good ones? A drifter with a mom who drove him to drifting. The open road was his only way out. What's happening? I'll tell you what's happening. You're gonna wear the clothes I bought you. They're perfectly fine. Holy God, you did shrink them on purpose. Okay, there are some ugly accusations flying around this house right now. Okay, now that that's been resolved, I think we all need to take a deep breath and put on our adorable train sweater. I'll never wear your train, ever. Oh, these are chafing me, but I like it. Bevy, I spent a fortune on those clothes, and that store was crazy. There was a boy with earrings in his nipples. I told you not to mix in. But Adam wants to look stylish. Oh, I know style. I am style. They're just clothes. Who cares? I care. Back to school shopping was one of the last traditions Adam and I had together. But now I guess that's gone too. <laughs> <laughs>